Okay, let's clarify a couple of things here first. It wasn't actually Dennis Schroeder's tooth that popped out of his mouth. It was the cap on his tooth, which I don't know about you, but that makes things a whole lot less disgusting for me. Now let's address the whole sock issue. This wasn't a sock that is fresh out of the laundry. Schroeder had been playing in it, running, sweating the entire game. It's pretty gross, but it did inspire our top 10 teeth moments. I think he may have lost some teeth. There it is. He's more upset that he got a foul, I think, than the fact he lost a tooth. One tooth doesn't matter, you know. I'm, I, I said to the away on the court, I, I lose my tooth. Are we not going to lose this game? Chris Barch. <laughs> right now, that, that face is a mess. You got some blood on the nose. You're losing teeth. It's a tough way to make a living. Um, you don't believe me? Here comes the tooth. And then he offers it as a souvenir. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Here you go. You want this? What's that going to go for on eBay? I think you all should try one of these muffins because these muffins are real good. I know. I'm telling you, this right here is the best muffin I had in a long, long while. Hey, Keith just got that puck right in the face. You got mouthpiece flying, teeth flying. Duncan Keith lost seven teeth in game four of the 2010 Western Conference Final. But he returned to the game, helping Chicago sweep San Jose and advance to the Stanley Cup final, earning himself a trip to the dentist. Yeah, I'll be here tonight, probably till about one in the morning. So uh, uh, hopefully I can get some new teeth. My teeth weren't that good to start with, so hopefully I get some better ones now. In 2007, Steve Nash chips a tooth, but has some fun with it during the halftime interview. Oh my goodness. Okay, get a close up of his mouth. I'm, <laughs> on TV after that. I know you, you guys are trying to stop a two game losing skid. Do you feel like the things that, you know, plagued you in those two losses are, are getting better in this one? I think so. <laughs> uh, I've been very uh, <laughs> difficult for us on the losing streak. <laughs> but we're going to pick it up in the second half. See ya. <laughs> In the 2013 Stanley Cup playoffs, Jean-Gabriel Pajot scores just as he's high-sticked by P.K. Subban, knocking out a tooth. He'd pick it up and go on to score a hat trick. I might put it on, under my pillow to see what's going what's to happen tonight, but um, I don't know. I wish uh, I can lose another one if we can win the next game again. Watch this, people. Make your own mind up, fans. He's sunk his teeth in there, has he? He certainly sticks his face in to his upper arm. He's having a nibble. Became known quickly as the cannibal. He's had a little bite at Chiellini. And that's the third time. During the 1989 NHL draft, Leafs great George Armstrong has a little fun before Toronto's pick. Let's find out what that decision will be. There's the chief. Spanish League soccer, after 18-year-old Jose Antonio Reyes scores, his Sevilla teammate Francisco Gallardo celebrates in a unique way. Gallardo was later suspended by the Spanish Soccer Federation. And at number one, Mike Tyson's infamous act, biting the ear of Evander Holyfield not once, but twice during a title fight in 1997. Flagrant bite on the ear. I mean, drawing blood. Van, I'm sorry. I cannot tell why exactly I acted like I did, but other than um, to say when the button occurred, I, and I thought I might lose because of a severity of a cut above my eye, I just, I just snapped.